Hey guys, welcome to Living the Logic. This is Manish Narayan. Today we're going to cover Python basic data structures, lists, and dictionaries. All right, so let's talk a little bit about different data structures. Uh, I'll introduce you to lists. So first, let's create our new file. So I'm going to create a new file, and we'll call this data structures.py. Okay, and let's start off with a list. So how do we create a list? We're going to define a list. Right, so fruits, let's say, equals apple, banana, and orange. Let's say cherry. All right, so we have a list of fruits. Now, this fruits is a list, and the list holds a bunch of strings here, right? So let's say I want to access uh, the first fruit, okay? So we'll say print, and we'll say fruits, and then if you want to access it, you use an index. So lists by default are zero base index. So apple is in position zero, banana is in position one, and cherry is in position three. So I can access, for example, apple by saying fruits of zero. Okay, this should print out an apple. Okay, now if I want to access fruits, banana, I would say fruits one. Okay, and this should print out banana. All right, and to get the cherry, I say fruits and access with index number two. And this should get me a cherry. So let's print that out. I'll go ahead and run this. So Python data structures dot py. All right, so notice here it printed out apple, banana, and cherry. Okay. So that's the definition of a list. Now how do we how can we modify the list? All right. So let's say I want to append or add to this list. So I can say something like fruits dot append Okay, and I can pass in, let's say, an orange. Okay, and let's say I want to remove the banana, right? So fruits dot remove, and we can say banana. So our list start off with apple, banana, and cherry, and I'm going to append using this keyword or method that's available as part of a list. Okay, so the the append will append an object to the end of the list, and remove will remove the first occurrence of the of the object. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to run this. So Python data structures. So notice it printed out uh, apples, banana, and cherry. Okay, and then it appended orange, remove banana. So what I'm going to do is rerun this, and I'm going to loop through. So we'll say for each fruit in fruits, print the fruit. Okay. So let's look at the list before and after. So the before it's apple, banana, cherry, and then let's see what happens after we run the append and remove. So I'll go ahead and rerun that. All right, perfect. So we got apple, banana, cherry, and then we got apple, cherry, orange. All right, so remember, it removed the banana and it appended the orange to the list. Okay, so th that's the definition of modifying lists. Now, another data structure that's very useful in Python is something called a dictionary. Okay, a uh, dictionary is like, you know, a dictionary of words. You look up the word to find the definition. Okay. And the word itself is a key of that dictionary. Okay, so let's go ahead and define a dictionary. Okay, so what we'll say is we'll call a person person dictionary, and we use a squiggly bracket, curly brace. Okay, we'll say a name. We'll call it John. Okay, and the age is 30. Okay, so now I have a dictionary that's person, and I can access this dictionary by navigating to the keys all right so one key is name and another key is age so let's say i want to get print out the name of this person okay so i'd say print person now instead of accessing it by the index i would access it by the key which is a name in this case okay this should print out uh john okay and if i want to access the age i can say person and find the person by the key age okay and this should print out 30. So let's go ahead and run that and see all right, um, what happens, right? So we'll go ahead and execute. Perfect. So we get John and 30. All right. So this is an example of a dictionary. All right. Now, just like lists, we can we have the ability to modify a dictionary. All right. So let's say how to how we can add and modify a key value pair to this dictionary of person. So let's say person. I'm going to say person age, okay, 
equals 31. So notice I just changed the age uh, of this person, John, to 31 instead of 30. And then I'm going to add a new key to, John, to this person, and we'll say a city. Okay. And the city, in this case, let's just say it's New York. Okay. Now if I print the person, notice I can print the entire dictionary here by just calling print person. All right, so let's see, let's save it and see what happens here. All right, there we go. So it printed out the entire person. Name is John. Age is now 31. We modified the dictionary's age. And the city John lives in is New York. Okay. So, so this is an example of how to work with dictionaries. Okay. So let's uh, see how we can store user information uh, and retrieve it inside a dictionary. Okay. So let's say user underscore info equals, again, we're going to create a dictionary. We'll say username, and the username is Alice, okay? And then the email of Alice is going to be alice at example.com, okay? So now I can print out the user info and get the username of this person by grabbing the key called username. And we should see the output as Alice. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll print the entire user info so we can see it. So I'll go ahead and re rerun this file. Perfect. So we grabbed Alice. That's the username. And then in the dictionary, we print out the entire dictionary, which consists of two keys, username and email. And uh, this is how you work with dictionaries. Okay. So I uh, hope you had fun uh, looking at lists and dictionaries. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.